Let's now take a look at performing and live looping some of these drum patterns that we've looked at. So I have my drum kit ready over here. These are the sounds I'm going to be using. I have a bunch of buttons that are available. They're not mapped to anything. I'm going to use those to instantiate the record feature in Ableton Live. So let's see how we can do that. Ableton Live has a session record button here. And I want to, let's say, map it to this button here. I'm going to click on MIDI over here. This is a MIDI map mode switch. And now I'm going to click on that session record button and just tap this button here. If the mapping was successful, we will see information over here. So it says here, node C2 has been assigned to the session record button. All right, so let's get out of MIDI map mode and test this out. One important thing to consider is the launch quantization option here. I've set it to one bar. I'm going to leave it at one bar. So as soon as I hit that button, you notice the metronome kicks in for a bar, and then we start recording. As soon as I'm done recording, I'll hit that button again, and it will play back whatever I just recorded. All right, so let's do that, but this time with actually playing. So you will notice that I hit that session record button right before we start the next cycle. So I'll give you a shorter demonstration of the same thing. So I'm going to select a second clip over here right below that first clip. Again, this is our record button. So that's how you can live loop a drum pattern. Now let's try this with playing a pattern and recording it in real time. Now if you're having trouble playing the entire pattern in real time like this, you can always break it down into individual elements. So let's say just have the kick drum come in first, perform that, live loop that, and then the snare, the hi-hat, and so on and so forth. So again, hit that session record button to start recording. And right before the next downbeat, hit the button so it'll loop what we just played. So this would be an easier way to perform your entire drum pattern by playing it one element at a time.